Tight. Oh shit, you're throwing it. Yeah. You like it, Nebs? Oh, yes, he says. Thank hey, you. Hey. This is why I want to be a whale girl. <laughs> so that you can do it all by yourself? Drive the tractor right in it. Oh yeah. You betcha. Lift up. They'll try it. No, put it flat because you're gonna cut the lines, right? Those look so mad. <laughs> so this tree right here that's dead, it's shaped like this, which is not ideal. Because a tree that's shaped like this, you can choose whichever way you want it to go. But a tree that's it's actually shaped like an S almost. So it goes out and then this way, like a backward C even. So I think I need to fall to fell it, which feels wrong to say because I need English. to fell it this way. <laughs> I need to drop it this way, but I've got a little birch that's in the way. So I'm going to carefully wedge it this way. And then as soon as it starts to go, I'm going to head out there because this birch might just snap while I bring this down. So Kitty's going to go safety. And I'm gonna go chainsaw. So that I can keep safe. This is the second time I've had this happen on this chainsaw and I've never had it happen on any other chainsaw. Oh. That chain wasn't even, that chain was tight. Well, Katie convinced me to take the easier tree. So we've got dead tree there, dead tree there. This tree is easier. This tree has more on it, but it's not going anywhere. And it's kind of late in the day and we need to get on this. So I think Katie had a good plan. We'll take this one down. Mind you, it's still 120 feet tall probably at least <laughs> and uh even though it seems small at the base it's a big tree so um, i gotta be be very careful and be sure of what i'm doing so i'm gonna get into it
got limb tied. Yeah. I uh, I leaned it over. And just those cedar limbs were just enough to kind of hold it up on yeah. its holding wood. Yeah. Woo wee. Okay. The whole top broke off, hey? Oh yeah. This tree is called a larch, and it's the only deciduous coniferous tree, which means it gets needles, but the needles fall off. And normally trees with needles, they don't fall off. So this tree turns a beautiful yellow in the fall before the needles fall off. Um, some people know it as tamarack, I think, but I learned it as larch, Larix occidentalis is the Latin name. Greg's, Greg's laughing at me. And like we said, it's just the best firewood around. So we've basically hit the jackpot today with these two trees. And actually there's a lot more in the area that we've been scoping out. So, and I suspect more are gonna be dying because there is a disease here that they get. I don't know why this one died. I don't see signs of the disease, but yeah, it's a pretty big tree. Do you remember where 50 inches was on this? It's cute. All right, trees fallen, felled. felled, cut up, loaded in the truck. Now we just gotta go unload it. And uh, we're a little bit more ready for next winter. Come on, Katie. Let's see what you got. I can't. Toss. I can't. Yeah, you, you see, and nobody could do anything with this when they said they can't. Yes, we can. <laughs> Obama. See, you can. That's not where you want it. Make this wood pile great again, Katie. Kiss for help. Good luck, though. No, you probably got boogers on your trees. No. <laughs> oh, gross. I don't have boogers. You do. Oh, yeah. You're on my face now. Booger stash. You just go like this, kitty. See? That's all you gotta do. Let's 
super simple. Bye. Oh. oh. Bad. Bad you, Katie. Got a few hours today, so we're gonna get these trees that we fell a few weeks ago, a month ago or something, finish cleaning them up. Uh, we started, but there was so much snow that it was hard to get to this portion of the tree. So it's melted enough and we can get to it and it's gonna be really good to get this cleaned up, turned into firewood, getting dry for next year.
that is hard work lugging those huge wet trees in the snow over all the branches to be very careful with where you put your foot and taking steps but we got a good chunk of it cleaned up there's still one pile from the top of the tree that we're going to get tomorrow and then what i'm really looking forward to is chipping a bunch of stuff tomorrow i want to get a bunch of chips for the chicken run so that it can be nice and clean and fresh in there. And then we've just got so much mud everywhere that it would be really nice to get, get some chips like where we park our vehicles and stuff so that when you get out of the vehicle and come to the house or between the front door around the house to the, to the yard, that sort of stuff covered with chips so that we're not tracking mud around. And the dogs aren't bringing mud in. And the cat, I can see the cat was on the counter tonight after Ew, she came inside. Paws. <laughs> after she came inside, so yeah, mud mess everywhere. Wouldn't have it any other way. The pigs only happen I in would. the mud, Katie, and I'm a pig. I guess you're moving outside then. Sure. <laughs>
Is this the jet? Okay. Out, out, out. This thing fell off. Is that where it goes? Yep. Jeez, that is a tough clip. Strong chain.
open. I mean, this is hard on the PTO, but it's a jam right there. <clears throat> It's just enough to uh, start up. Gotta get that whole chunk of wood out, probably. Yeah, that's the problem. Oh, there you go. That's almost free floating now. Oh, yeah. That'll get it. I'm gonna let it have it. Heads up. Gotta get the wood, Katie. <laughs> All right, Greg is gonna turn the tractor around and start scooping it. We're gonna put it into the chicken run, which is just right up there. I've gotta go get the big gate open so that he can drive right in. And I think these are gonna be some very happy chickens. The run's gonna be nice and fresh. They got lots of little green things in there to peck, peck away at. And uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have the best eggs in town for a little while. <laughs> All of our gates are falling apart, so we're gonna have quite a bit of work to do when we start fixing up our fence, dealing with gates, as well as fence. It's gonna be a big project, but it's gonna be good. Maybe we can get some actual farm gates that don't break down. <laughs> Just a silhouette in the sunshine. Colbius, shaking his tail. <laughs> Big man Colbius watching over the mountain. Colbius of the mountain. Silky boy up down below. Oh,
Nice and fresh, hey guys? Slicky Boy is into it. Hey, Brush. Hi. Hi. You're very cute. Did you know that? Oh, don't get me. Speckles. Well, that was a pretty good day's work. Getting some chips. The uh, chicken run is looking a lot fresher and just really nice. The chickens are super happy. Goats are out cleaning up some of those branches as well. And I think we're gonna call it a day, call it a video. Feeling pretty tired now and I've got to get this edited and ready to go out. So we will catch you in the next video.